Hey everybody, Brian Derling here, manager of Mike's Bikes Folsom, as well as the Enduro team. I'm here to talk to you today about a new bike to the family, the Giant Rain E+. Plus. All right, so previously we did a video on the Trance XE Advance. Uh, you can check out that video right up here. But this is the bigger brother to that bike. So this is the all mount Enduro, long travel, kind of just go tear up the downhill on it. I dig this bike so much that this is actually gonna be the newest bike in my quiver. When I get on my e-bike, I like to do one thing. I like just to get to the top of the hill as fast as I can so I can just bomb down, no problems at all, get back up, go do it again. You know, basically treat it like a chairlift. That's my favorite thing to do in the summertime. And when I'm not riding chairlifts, you can pretty much get all the fun in on this bike the same way. All right, so this has got a completely revamped suspension design and geometry over the previous model. It's got the, your typical kind of updated modern geometry, long, low, slack. Um, one thing that really stands out to me every time I look at this bike is how steep the seat tube angle is. Um, you know, yeah, bikes go downhill, but you gotta get up the hill. And that seat, seat, the steep seat tube angle is gonna get you up the hill. Um, with way more ease because your bike, your weight is going to be more centered over the front. Um, high powered e-bikes, you got a lot of torque in there. You're going up something steep. That bike just wants to pop a wheelie. That steep C2 angle is going to get you planted, keep you on the ground, get you up that technical section and to the top of the hill way faster. So when you get to the top of the hill, that's where this bike comes alive. This bike is made for the chunk. Um, you know, if you aren't riding chunkier stuff or you want a little bit more playful bike, it does have a flip chip that you could change the angles by about a degree and a half steeper. Um, or if you're just in the plowing mode, drop that bad boy down and just head down whatever you want. All right, I want to talk to you a little bit about the electronics on this bike, but first we got to talk about the heart of this beast, the Yamaha Sync Drive Pro. Now this thing has very little change to the bottom bracket height, but it has gained about an inch of ground clearance and lost about six pounds of weight off of the bike, which is huge when you're talking about e-bikes and maneuverability. So with those changes to the new Sync Drive Pro motor, it's got 85 newton meters of torque now, which is right up there with the Shimano EP8 motor. It's got a 625 watt hour battery, which isn't the biggest, but it's not the smallest either. Plenty to get you through the day. Uh, the new Ride Ergo control here is going to tell you how much power you have, how much assistance you have, all controlled by the ride ergo 3 controller now the other new thing about this bike is the smart assist when you fire this puppy up it goes right in the smart assist it's got four sensors in the bike that basically measure everything that you're doing whether you're going uphill whether you're going downhill and gives you the power accordingly so really range anxiety is gone because the bike is going to take over for you and is going to give you the perfect amount of power when you need it however you need it no matter the terrain so along with that smart assist, it does have five levels of assistance that are completely tunable. Um, so, you know, if you really want to prolong that battery, you can throw that thing into the lowest mode possible, get the best workout you can, and have a, you know, a hundred mile day if you wanted to. Um, not that most of us do. Uh, I know me, 30 miles, 6,000 feet of climbing, that's like the perfect e-bike ride. And this thing has plenty of power, plenty of battery to get you through any of that. All right, so in the US, we got two specs of the Rain E. The first one is the two, uh, that's $6,100. It's gonna have your SRAM spec GX drivetrain with code brakes. And the three for $5,500 is gonna have Shimano 12-speed Dior components on it. All right, so at those prices, this bike gives you the ability to pretty much customize anything that you want about it. Uh, it won't break the bank. It's not gonna get you that $15,000 price point like other brands. That's one of the things that, uh, that attracted me to the bike and I have mine right here. All right, so here's a couple things that I did to this thing to, to make it my own. I've got a DHX coil rear shock on the back. I just love to feel that coil eating up all those small bumps and uh, you know, with the Maestro suspension, you don't worry about the bottom out. Got a 38 on the front, can't put it on there yet. Waiting for one small adapter to get that thing going. 200 mil PNW uh, loam post to get that seat out of the way when you're going down the steeps. Um, let's see, what else? I got the reserve carbon wheels on there because you can't beat the lifetime warranty on those bad boys. Uh, Asagai double down. Uh, rubber in the back, stick with the DHF in the front, and then also went with a uh, full axis uh, drivetrain on there because, you know, 12 speeds, 
for the win on the climb and uh, you really can't beat robots for the shifting reliability and uh, getting rid of a cable is uh, key on in my book so this is my bike and I, I you know love riding it it's gonna be uh, a great weapon this summer um, and the rest of this year so so if you want to learn more about the rainy you click the link in the bio you can come into any of the stores as always come up to Folsom talk to me I will be more than happy to talk about bikes to you um, or call our guys in the online sales department and they'll walk you through whatever questions you have as well all right thanks and see you all out on the trail